Welcome, fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Back. I'll say back with an interesting one. I'm hoping to keep this quite short. I don't know how to do shorts on YouTube, but I know how to do a short video, but they don't always, they don't always end up short, do they? Question for you. How do you keep your tips clean? While you think about it, I'm gonna get all my bits and pieces out, give us some comments, but how do you keep your tips clean for spraying? The question I posed was how do you keep your tips, and I'm referring to spray tips for spraying, clean. I have a number of people ask me, what do I do? Right, I'm going to show you what I do. Because this is a product that I've had the last few months. I don't always do a review on a product straight away because I like to um, try it out first. This is purchased, purchased, no sponsorship. This is purchased from the spray man. And you're going to say, what is it? It's a plastic paint kettle bucket and it's called a tip saver. This is what you need to get. Now we'll come on to what's in it in a minute. You can guess what's in it. But what is in it is the tip clean from Wagner. Wagner, Wagner, however you want to pronounce it. This stuff is brilliant. This stuff will clean and keep your tips in a good condition. Let's say in a good condition. And how does it work? Right, I first started off with one of these. It's the, we call it the egg timer cleaner. Now, what you do, you unscrew the lid, already has solution in it. And you pop a tip in there, put the lid on, turn it upside down, and that drip feeds through like an egg timer and puts the solution all the way around your tip. You follow me, aren't you? Yeah, you follow me. So overnight, once you've cleaned your spray equipment out, you've probably cleaned your spray tip out as in flushing water through it, but you just want to make sure that there's no buildup of paint on it from your day's spraying. Pop it in one of these, let the fluid do the work, and then the next day you'll turn it back over, let the water, uh, let the fluid, not the water, <laughs> it's not water, let the fluid drip back out, take your spray tip out, and then you can flush you tip through with water again, away you go spraying. Brilliant, that with that. Now the next level, I'll say the next level of tip saver is this. Now, I'm gonna open the lid. Right where you can see. Inside there is like a rack, I'll lift it out. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. And it's like that, see it dripping. The same solution is in this tip saver plastic bucket. But the beauty of this is, you can have multiple items in it, from tip guards to filters, oh, if it does, filters to your spray tips. And I'm gonna take one out for you. So that has been soaking, oh, since last used it, a couple of weeks ago. And you can see there's still a little bit of paint around the actual top of it. Right, I'm just going to get a wipe. Just, you know those um, big man wipes? That sort of stuff. I'm just going to get one of those out. I'm going to show you how good this tip cleaner is. Right, where I've got paint still on there, the solution of that, over the period of time that it's been stored, look how easy that comes off. And this is how I keep my tips clean. So I don't worry too much about the paint that's actually on the tip handle around the top, because once it goes in there, it softens it all up and cleans it nicely. Right, I'm just gonna wipe that off so I've got no solution around me. If you've got a little toothbrush, you just clean the end, plastic, you know, nylon bristles on a toothbrush. Just clean the end of that. That's what I do prior to me putting it into a spray gun. And then what I do, put it into the spray gun, into the guard, turn it over, 
one way then the other, flush water through it and I know it's clean. So that is how I keep my spray tips and spray guards all clean. I'm going to take that out, turn that the other way and I'm going to pop it into there in a minute. The same principle works with this, with the gun filters. Now that's a white filter, you're spraying 16s, 516, 517 and above with a white filter. The blue filters that are, the blue filters, gave me colour blindness. The red filters that you use for the fine finish, I've got one there, it's just at the bottom, it's fell through. Some cloth. That's the really fine one. This is on the Tri-Tech spray guns. That is what I use when I'm spraying, you've probably seen on previous videos, spraying woodwork, 206, 208, 210, 310. You go up to about a 12, beep beep, uh, go to about a 12 on that before you move on to the next filter which would be yellow on the Tri-Tech, you see me? But this solution keeps all those clean. My next thing, I even put my spray guards in. Now my spray guard, I've done this purposely, I've left that spray guard in there with paint over it. You can see it, it's just starting to soften up. And again, with a cloth, look how easy that wipes off. Now, I know some people are gonna say, oh, I'll soak me water overnight. But sometimes I like to just let them soak because they've had build up a paint on in this solution, this Wagner, Wagner tip cleaner. And you can see how that, just with a wipe, is coming up clean already. And the same principle, if you've got a little toothbrush or a cleaning kit, you can just go around all of that and clean it all up properly. Wipe around the threads. And you know what I always say to you is, when you've got anything with threads, put a bit of Vaseline on. That's my top tip Tuesday, put some Vaseline on. So you can just keep your threads lubed up. I'll just clean it inside there. Right, there's no problem with the rubber. The gasket rubber seal there. It doesn't eat into that. And that is cleaning up lovely. I'm gonna put that back in. I'll just get the last bit of paint. Put the last Put that back in to soak for the last bit. Take on these. Now, if you put about a litre, how big is that? That's a litre. A litre of that solution in there is halfway. If you put two litres in, that will give you a full tip save of solution, and you can actually put your guards in on the top lot. They don't hold in that position because they'll fall through. You can put them in that way and they'll be submerged into the solution. Right there. You can see all my tips are there. All right. For day-to-day -day use, tip a few in there. You yeah, might get a, a tip guard in. No. For day to day use, for day to day use, if I'm just um, storing my tips overnight, drop in, you can put a good few in there, screw the lid on turn it upside down, that'll filter through. I always put it in a, a paint bucket as well because I don't want any leaks over anybody's carpet or over sheets. So that drips through nicely, keeps those clean and soft. The next, what's the next thing? You've had a problem with your spray tip, the orifice is blocked. Have you seen these? Needle cleaners. Some people like to use them, some don't. They are a very fine needle. I'll get one out. You won't see that. Very fine 
Now if you've got a blockage in there, ease that through, if you can get it through, and you might be able to unblock, I'm trying now, it's like threading a needle, you might be able to get the needle through. Let's have a look. It's 206, I might be pushing it a bit on a 206. 208, let's try that. Come on. I can see bits of dirt coming out already. There you go, that's gone through. This is a 208. It's gone through. You don't want to damage that orifice, but if you have got a blockage, that would probably unblock it. Now, there's no blockages in these, but I can just, yeah, I can just get that through. That's just poked anything out. Let's try back with that 206. Go one way and then the other. Yeah, I've got that through. You can see that. It's just gone through it there. You can see that. So if you can unblock it using these little needles and then flush it through with water, you might have saved buying a new tip. I'm not promising, but you might have saved. So that said, I'm going to put these back in so they can keep soaking. That's there and it goes in and submerges. Squeeze that back out, these can go back in as well. You get the idea? That's how I keep my tips clean. There you go, the dripping. it goes on like so so no sponsorship no endorsement I'm just telling you how I keep me clip how I keep my tips clean I've got a fine needle set these are very fine ones these do you smaller orifices you can get ones that do you I don't know is it 0 0.16 0 0.17 of a tip but these do I'll just focus on that so you can see that. That's that. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Yeah. And that's that. Now these these were from Sprayman UK, uh, probably 40, 50 quid. But the amount of money that it saves you on tips, not getting all clogged and damaged because you can't clean them out, it's worth it. Thanks for listening. Get yourself one. Get yourself some. Get some solution. Over and out. Thanks for listening.